Just because you have a college degree doesn't mean you are smart. Let's have a very brief discussion about the educated stupid. What do I mean by educated stupid? Well, it's actually a sneaky reference to the time cube, but that's not what I'm talking about, unfortunately. The time cube is a lot funnier than the educated stupid of today. The educated stupid of today are those people who have professional credentials who are still idiots. You probably know these people. These are the people who have a degree in a field or have some other form of prestige or authority, but they still say stupid things. They still come out with things that are false, and you, dear peasant, are expected to believe them. Why? Because they're an authority. People with authority are just people. They are no different than any other people. They are human. They make mistakes, just like you or I. The problem with the educated stupid is that they hold a certificate in their hand or have a placard on their office door that makes them somehow better than you or I. Somehow, we are supposed to believe them because they have credentials. They're smarter than us. Well, that's kind of a problem because that's not how critical thinking works. I have a cousin who has a political science degree. Ooh, adjusting glasses like a smart, smart nerd I am. I have a cousin with a political science degree who got in an argument with me on the internet about constitutional issues. The problem is that the stuff coming out of her keyboard, can't really say her mouth, she wasn't talking with her mouth, but the stuff coming out of her text was bullshit. Absolute bullshit. And the problem is that she would always fall back on an appeal to authority. Her authority, the authority of journalists who said things that agreed with her. Everything would somehow come back to, well, I have a degree and you don't. Or, these people have a degree in journalism and you don't. Or, these people are at the New York Times and you're not. Ergo, anything that you say is wrong if they say something to the contrary. Well, the problem is, as we have seen, especially in current year, the publications, the authorities, they all are wrong about things. More so now than ever because they don't bother even doing basic fact-checking before publishing things in order to get ahead of everybody else. But even the people that wouldn't have to do fact-checking, non-journalistic people, will have credentials and think highly of themselves, but they're really just a real-world example of the Dunning-Kruger effect. What is the Dunning-Kruger effect? For those of you that don't know, the Dunning-Kruger effect is where someone who is not as skilled in a field thinks very highly of their skill in that field, whereas someone who is skilled in that field does not think more highly than they should of themselves. In fact, they often think poorly of their own skills or downplay them or otherwise don't feel that they are as competent as the people who are idiots who don't know what they're doing or saying or talking about. Ironically, it is the people that are confident in their abilities to do all kinds of things that tend to be the people that don't actually know what they're doing. Everything looks easy when an expert is doing it, but when you actually try to do it for yourself, you find out that that's not the case. That's a really simple example of how the Dunning-Kruger effect works. So I've been getting in internet arguments recently with people that have college degrees and that are doing various programs and whatnot. Uh, there was this one lady, I don't remember her name, but she had like four names. She got a law degree at North Carolina Central University, and she is an idiot. She said things that weren't true, and she wanted to argue with me. She said, as the thing that specifically comes to mind is that she said, Oh, well, how about those studies that say that vegans live longer? So, I didn't even feel like getting into it with her at this point. I'm so tired of telling people that an observational study with eight participants doesn't reflect on the population as a whole, and an observational study can't possibly find any sort of causal link. It, it was just not worth it. 
But this is the problem. We are being proliferated with educated stupid, people that hold credentials that think highly of themselves, people that run around authoritatively speaking on matters, and we're supposed to believe them. People who will spout off a study and think that, oh, well, because I am an authority and I have spouted a study, that means that this issue is settled. It's not how it works. It kind of works the same way with client. Um, climate science um, and no before you go off on me I'm not one or the other I have a problem with the notion that man causes the global warming because in the 70s it was global cooling so and there's a lot of shaky stuff politically behind the global warming slash climate change thing it's really complicated, but what I have a problem with are the people who say well you have to be a climate scientist in order to have an opinion Go fuck yourself. You don't have to be a climate scientist to have an opinion. Your opinion may not be as valuable if you don't know how to deal with the data properly, how to understand it and work with it, but that doesn't mean you have to be a climate scientist. That also doesn't mean that the opinions of someone who is not a climate scientist are invalid, or that the opinions of a climate scientist are valid, more importantly. See, having a credential doesn't actually mean that you know what you're doing. It means that you've got a credential. You memorized facts, took tests, maybe you followed some procedural tests that determined whether or not you can follow a certain procedure or perform certain steps. It does not definitively conclude that you are the all-seeing, all-knowing expert in a field. Just because you have a college degree doesn't mean you are smart you can be educated stupid. Likewise, some simpleton like me, who admittedly is working on a degree but doesn't have it yet, well, I'm gonna smack you down on the internet because you're spouting a bunch of bullshit and you're gonna eat it. Because I'm right and you're wrong and your degree isn't going to save you from critical thinking, proving that you are full of shit. End rant. Have a wonderful day.